A change has been made to the external engrave function that will allow you to have both sharp external and internal corners. I want to show you a demonstration of what we're talking about. Let's just draw on screen a, a rectangular shape and I'll draw also a big circular shape here. And I'm going to move these around a little bit and align them on a vertical center line and then weld them together. So now I have an outer border that has an inner sharp corner and an external sharp corner. Now if I come to the engrave tool and I use a 120 degree conic tool, go to a depth of half inch and I have a 3D external engrave and hit OK, I will see that the outside parts here get a little bit of a rounded profile to them. And let's come here and do a simulation and just so I can only simulate uh, what's uh, right where this, this part is. I'm going to draw a 2D geometry and use selected contour as a mask so that I can I can just simulate in this area. And now I, I hit the simulation tool and we can see that we have a rounded edge here to this part. Although the inside corners, because we did a 3D engrave, are going to be sharp. So we have sharp inside corners but rounded external corners. So what we might want to do here is to uh, select this and delete this toolpath and reapply it, but this time we're going to choose square corners. And square corners would be a new function in, in Route 5 that will allow us to have both external uh, sharp and internal sharp corners. So again, let's come here and do a little 3D simulation here. And we can see that now, now there are sharp external and internal corners so just a little bit of a different effect with this tool to give a, a sharp external corner there. All right, and uh, we can also use this, this function in conjunction with, with the offset tool. So let's come in here and, and type in some text. And I'm going to use the Bookman old style font, bold. And we'll type in in route. And let's make this text, uh, I'll resize this after the fact here. I'll change it to curves and, and lines and arcs, and let's change the height of this to 8 inches tall. All right, so we have some text on screen. Uh, now, uh, what I would do here is, in a similar way to uh, how I would use this to do a, a an external engrave pass, I'm first going to choose a rough tool that's going to be my vertical cutout tool, and next I'll choose a, a conic tool. And so here I'll choose my 120 degree conic. My conic depth, I'll go to 0.5, and this part will go all the way through uh, 0.76. And in this case, I'm going to tell it that I want my my clean tool to be a 3D toolpath. So by doing that and choosing, again, sharp corners, I'm going to allow myself to have, um, and uh, one other thing I needed to, to click here was to click weld offset so that those toolpaths would not over intersect each other. And now I can see that uh, each of these external contours will be sharp as well as the internal contours. And let's get an idea of what this is going to look like here. So I'll draw my little geometry there. And again, do a simulation here. And so we can see that we're going to get the sharp outside corners here from the, from the V-Groove tool. And it actually took two passes there. And then the other tool is going to come through and, and cut this shape out in, in entirely. So uh, we'll see here that we have external V-groove carving and uh, sharp external and interner, internal contours. And then they've been cut out. And, and so as, as you can see, this function will work with both the, the routing offset tool and the external engrave function.